All right, I'm looking at another waffle today. So the way waffle works is we're just trying to find the six words here and the coloring matches normal Wordle and we're swapping letters around and you're trying to do it in the least number of swaps possible. So this middle row, I mean, clearly makes me think alpha. We do have A's on both of those other sides there. Now, I don't want to start swapping A's yet because this A doesn't necessarily have to go there. It could be a different A that goes there. So we've got, I think, alpha there. So let's assume those are A's. What are we going to do? Uh, craft? Craft would work over here. I like that. Now, interesting, there has to be an E and an A in this middle column. Now, the S's could be for the row or the column, but... Yeah, and so if we're doing alpha, that's two of the A's, and then the other A is in this middle column, so the top and bottom rows cannot have A's in them. So let's look at those, because we know there can't be an A, and we don't have very many vowels. I think we just have the one, or the two E's, the two E, but this E has to be in the middle column, so there's a good chance it's going to be first or fifth, and not fourth, because we're going to need to have some vowels in those other words. So I think there's going to be an E in the middle of the top row or the bottom row. You know, the H feels like after the E would make sense, something like the, oh, it can't be there. It could be these. If we put an E down here. That would be good. T-H-E-S-E, -E, because we know there's an S in the row or the column there. So, I'm thinking about trying to move the H or the F, because it's the only one we have available of each of those. I'm going to go ahead and move the F, I think. Okay, so I think this is craft, then. Which means the R needs to go up there. Yep, okay. Good, and then this should be the H, and then A needs to go over there anyways, perfect. Very nice. Now, one of the A's needs to go over here. This needs to be an E. You need an S there. So what's gonna be over here? Evade? Evade would be good there. I like evade. Uh, which means we might as well go ahead and move the D. Yep, okay, so I think it's gonna be evade. Very good. This is E and S and... Oh, interesting. Okay, so we know there's an A down here. We know there's an A in this middle column. And an A in the top row, so the A has to be in this third position. So it's A something P something E. Something like ample. Ample, it's going to be ample. So we can move the E there. There we go. The L there. Very good. Uh, now, this needs to be an A, this needs to be an S, so we'll swap those two. Yep. And then this is going to be an E. An A. And then we have an E and an S up here. So cease. It's going to be cease. So we can swap... Yeah, swap these two. And those two. And there we go. We got it. Perfect. Five swaps remaining. So let's scroll down. Here's the definitions of the words. In case you're not familiar with any of those. Cease and alpha and these and craft and ample and evade. Very cool. So that one wasn't too bad. I didn't think it was super hard. We had a lot of E's and A's and, you know, having that alpha word kind of, I mean, to me, semi-obvious at the beginning made it easier because we had two of the three A's located, so there was only E's left. So anyways, let me know how you did with today's waffle. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Okay, so we got a bunch of reds with house, and now we got a bunch of yellows with flyer. I don't think, I don't think thonk is a word, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be wheel. Let's guess wheel. Oh, it was a wheel! So close, alright.